Hello, guys. This is Joey. There is something on my mind that I just got to get off my chest or my mind, my chest mind. I got something on my chest mind, bro. And that is these team names that we have in the United States. Now, you guys know that I'm a relative newcomer to cricket, right? Mm -hmm. So this basically all started when I was watching the Abu Dhabi T10 cricket competition. I think it was like last year late late last year. And there was a team name called the New York Strikers. And I was like, whoa, this is so cool. So not only do we have major league cricket, minor league cricket, uh, all these other things, but we have the New York Strikers in the Abu Dhabi T10. This is amazing. Why don't I go catch a game? I can go to New York easily. I live in DC and I can travel like what, five, six, seven hours. I mean, that would be totally worth it to watch a game in the Abu Dhabi T10. And then I saw that they also had another American team, the Morrisville, the Morrisville Swamp Army. I don't know why this is gross, but I always think of Swamp Swamp butt when somebody says swamp. I don't know why. Swamp butt. That's just so funny to me. But anyway, I'm not going to Morrisville, uh, North Carolina, but I can go to New York. So I go on the website, I look it up, and I realize that all the games are played in the United Arab Emirates. And I was like, is this a COVID restriction thing? I mean, it's 2023, but no, it's always been this way. It has always been this way. So my question today is, why do we have a team called the New York Strikers if they've never been to New York and none of the players are from New York? You know, it's not like the Philadelphians back in the late 1800s when you have these players who grew up in Philadelphia and are, you know, from the city that they're representing but they travel to other places. It's not like that. You have people like Kyron Pollard and his silvery smooth Caribbean accent. I mean, he's not from New York. So this is a question that I brought up. So the next example I'm going to give is Major League Cricket. And so in the 2023 season, all the games were played in Grand Prairie Stadium in Dallas, Texas, or Church Street Park in Morrisville, North Carolina. Now, these are the team names, Los Angeles Knight Riders, Seattle Orcas, San Francisco Unicorns, uh, Mumbai Indians, New York, like another team based in New York that doesn't play any of the games in New York. And why are they called the Mumbai Indians? So are they from Mumbai or are they from New York? Like it doesn't make sense and it just can't compute. Like to me, this just feels kind of cheap and really rushed. Kind of like in WrestleMania 9 when Bret Hart lost the WWE Championship to Yokozuna only for Hulk Hogan to sweep in and win back the championship in like 10 seconds. It just felt incredibly cheap and gimmicky and I thought it was very poopy. I'll say it. It was poopy. Okay, I don't like it. And this is truly like a pan- North American problem because if you look at the global T10 competition in Canada, it's the same thing. In 2023, all of the games were played in Brampton, Ontario. But you have team names like you have teams like the Vancouver Knights, you have teams like the Montreal Tigers, or if you're French, it's Montreal, le, le Tigre de Montreal, and um, so none of these teams play in the city that they're based in they all play in brampton which is cool if you're from brampton it's like hell yeah i get to watch all the teams play in my city but if you're not from brampton like that's got to piss you off like why would i root for the montreal tigers if a they don't play in montreal and b none of the players are from montreal like what is montreal about this team doesn't make sense and so it just keeps going with these competitions. If you take a look at the Masters, uh, what's it called? The U.S. Masters T10 League, which just started in 2023. You have the Atlanta Riders. Like, do they ride bikes? Or like, they should kind of like, you know, decide or disambiguate like what it is that they ride. Like motorcycle riders, because it could be like tricycle riders too, you know? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so you have California Knights. Morrisville Unity, another Morrisville team, New Jersey Tritons, Texas Chargers, and New York Warriors. 
great. Another, a third New York team that doesn't play in New York, that doesn't have players from New York, and that, you know, is based on the city of New York. Like, imagine signing a contract. Yeah, I play for the New York Warriors. Like, have you ever been to New York? No. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense in this competition because in 2023, this competition, all of the games in their entirety were played in Florida, and no team is based in Florida. So it's just really weird. Now, to be fair, there are major league cricket teams that are trying to get stadiums built in the cities of which they are based on. They're trying to build cities based on the teams from which they are from. And so, for example, my Washington Freedom, yeah, it's my team. I've decided that they were trying to build a stadium in uh, Northern Virginia, which is in the D.C. area and near uh, or in the campus of George Mason University. But the project fell through and now they're not going to have a stadium in 2025, it seems like. So and that's kind of my point, like. Why are you not building the stadiums first, getting this structural thing set up before you name a team after a city? Like, what if you can eventually never find a city in that area? Like, are you still going to keep the Washington name? It, it just seems really, really silly to me and rushed. It seems rushed and for profit. And it's like, we got to get the money first. We got to get the money. And then we'll worry about, you know, if people from the city can watch the game and, and stuff like that. So before we end this video, it, my last point is like, there are two other competitions, which are like tertiary competitions or secondary competitions. It's the American Premier League and the United States Premier League. And it's like, why are they called Premier League? If you look at that Latin name, and I know I'm a linguist, linguist dork, but like Premier comes from the word like primo or primero, like number one, like the number one. And these competitions are not number one. So why are they called the Premier League? But anyway, you have the United States Premier League and just look at these teams, the California Golden Eagles, the New Jersey Titans, the Maryland Mavericks. Awesome. I want to go see them play California Eagles and the New York Cowboys. Great. A fourth team, a fourth team named after New York that doesn't play in New York. I am about to lose my mind. Please like and subscribe. Otherwise, I will completely lose it. Go do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now.